Okay, Roger once again from Mud Fossil University with the most spectacular news. Harvard and all the academics now, uh, which are our very, very, very good friends, have endorsed Mud Fossil University's uh, interpretation of light. And uh, I will show you how we arrived at ours and how they arrived at theirs, and it is the same. Now, this is what I am saying is a light particle. And we are seeing it quite obviously as a disk, and it is elongated and obviously being sucked into this particular orifice, which is a venturi. It consists of two drums. Now, I will show you what they presented from academia, and it is literally the same thing. And we are thrilled, and we thank them so much, because we sent this out a few years ago. Didn't hear any response, and thought it was just tabled. And now all of a sudden it is uh, it's showing up everywhere. So this is just fabulous news. Thank you so much, Harvard, and the rest of you. Okay, my good friends, as always, Mud Fossil University making sense out of the nonsense. Now, simultaneous observation, quantization, and the interference pattern of a plasmonic near field. A lot of words, and I'm going to change them into a lot of meaning. Okay, simple, quick, and easy. A beam of electrons, which is nothing more than light shot through a graphene uh, a grid, which is gold wires are in the grid, and because the wires have rounded edges, they create what's called a, a, a venturi in through here, and in each one of these little squares is going to spray out electrons because they're being forced into a higher energy to get into that little restricted space because of that curved nature. And we did this years ago. Rodney Warren's been doing this for many years. And I hooked up with him a few years back and did the uh, particle theory on it because he, he really, he was doing, just making experiments and uh, I realized what he had and I went through the theory of it. And now uh, we put it out there to the world a few years back and heard nothing about it, but not even exactly identical, exact I mean, it's, it's uh, identical. Now, so they, we did the same thing. We shot a laser through a, um, two drums of steel, and they created the same thing. It creates a curvature that, that comes down like this. So the light comes through it, and it has nowhere to go, and it has to restrict into that curvature, just the way it works. Now, let's look at the way they show light and the way we show light. It's the same thing. We're showing the same thing. So... They're coming through theirs, and there's the, the uh, graphene disk, and then it showers the electrons down. They're showing these different wavelengths they're getting out of. In the center, they're getting the big wavelength. Look at this. Particle, 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 particle. What do we got here? There's no, there's no difference. That's in the middle. <laughs> Over here, what do they have? They have the exact same thing. It's... Over here, what do they have? Same thing. Did, did, did. Over here, they only have very, very light ones. Same thing. It's like they took our pictures. They changed them. I don't know how they got the exact same identical pictures. They're really identical. So, anyway, and you can see that it's going off this way, and the center is the highest energy, because that's just what happens. And when you see the wave patterns of um, light through a, a slit experiment, it's always in the center is the bright one, and then they have boom, 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 coming out to the sides, boom, boom, boom. It's just the way it works. And, and so this is exactly, you know, look, that's the way wave patterns come out because it's coming through here. Well, it's coming through this way as, as a, a circle. So some of it goes this way, and then on the other side of the wave, some of it comes back out this way. But most of it comes through the center. So think about it this way. It's coming this way, round, around, around. In the back of the wave, the ones come out this way. But if it comes and it hits on the front of the wave, they go out this way. Simple as that. All right, so, and they, so, there's nobody can, so now our MFU, and it was my particle theory, but under the MFU banner, we have proven everything we've ever said, and now Harvard is our best friend because they proved everything we've said after we proved it. So thank you, Harvard, and thank you all the rest of you. Uh, Max Planck and all the rest of them. You've been marvelous. We love you. Thank you. This is the chaos directly above the accelerator coming out these white and they turn into this and then they start to go into their normal disky patterns and like that. 
Okay, once again, Roger, and this time I'm just going to explain to you that I have dozens and dozens of videos on energy and the unified field theory and particles and water and sonoluminescence and all kinds of stuff. Now, th this is where, see, I mean, I, this is the nature of, of light. It's a, it, it spins like this. So when you look at it, the way, that's a wave. You see it? But the particle is the tip of it. When we take the pictures, we're taking pictures of, of light that is in motion. So we're seeing this whole strobe, but really the, the tip is here. This is what is really is happening. So you've got to come out here and look at all this stuff. But I'm just going to tantalize you. I'm going to lead you into temptation. Hold on one second. Oh, you saw the red laser. The accelerator is over here. It's coming out, and these are the particles we see only in two waves. This, these are the waves, boom, 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 and as they slow down, you pick up that, and then they change into their normal patterns, like the stagecoach. All right, this is better detail. Now, coming out of the accelerator, you see coming out of here, they're globby little, blurry little white things, and then they turn into the still blurry little white things. That's a wave. This is a wave. Then you see two waves of these structures, and then you go into this structure here. Now, they look like little toruses or something like that, like a, uh, a flip-flop of, of energy somehow. That's all I can tell you. See what I see? You see what you see. And it needs to be examined. But everything falls into place, exactly identical to what they're saying. So these things are not just something out of somebody's uh, imagination. All right, these are the light discs. I'm going to show you one that a guy sent me today, Renz, my buddy over in France. Bonjour, mes amis. And uh, mon ami, actually. Um, Renz sent me this uh, a photo. I'll show you later. He took it outside just looking up at the sun, put his thumb up, and made, turned his thumb into a light accelerator. <laughs> On a half a half wave light accelerator. I'm not kidding you. You're going to blow your... It blew my mind. I just... This, I can't take this hardly anymore. Here's the thing. We go to the world and we share with the world. Nobody's got any, nobody's getting any special rewards for this. No, nobody's sending anybody any money. We're not getting any funding or any of this stuff. We're doing this because we're interested. So my point being is I put up something and before long I've got 20, 30 people actually contributing true, actual information that relates. Not being told, okay, you got to remember this, and if you can remember and write it down, I'll, I'll tell the world that you're smart enough to go out there and earn a living. That is not reality. This is reality, and we're changing the way the world learns at Mud Fossil University. So let's go into a little more learning. These are the light disks. That's the accelerator. Particles are coming out at different intensities, therefore different colors. That indicates the frequency. It's fully understood. And these are the different colors, and you can even see the densities increase as the color gets a different hue to it, which indicates that the frequency is faster, which means that the spin is faster. Zzz, these are going, rrr, 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 rrr. that one's going, woof, woof. <laughs> that one there is rocket ship. You see that one? That is going to hit another one of these, and it's going to create what's called a light trumpet. And I'll show you that right now. All right, I showed you the rocket ship particle. That's what you see here. That's a rocket ship particle, I'm calling them. They're extremely high energy, highly motivated to, to go forward at, a, at, a, at an extreme speed and mass compared to this. When they hit another light wave, and that's all this is, is a light wave. This, this is not nuclear particles. These are, this is light you see that's floating through the air. And that disk, in its architecture, as you can see, the architecture continues on these little stripes, but what happens is as it slows to the normal uh, disc, it gives off a light trumpet, a little tiny disc. That tells me light can be divided. Nobody is into this. Nobody understands this. Okay, once again, strangest of the strange, I have a group called Science Theory Challenge on Facebook. My friend, my good mon ami over in France, Renz, sent me this picture today just before I was getting ready to post about the light work we did. And I, it blew me away. Look at the disc. I sent him, I said, what did you do? 
he said, I put my thumb up towards the sun and took a picture. He has created a half wave light accelerator. You can see it twisting off and he's created like a half wave light accelerator. I can see the same identical architecture as you can. Light is nothing more than these disks floating to earth. 